What's up, everybody? Caleb from Scout IQ here, and I'm excited to walk you through several new changes to the Scout IQ app as of April 2018. Now, the first one is something we rolled out several weeks ago, but we haven't put a video out yet. Scout IQ now allows live lookups for all products on Amazon. It's not just a book app anymore. Feel free to scan CDs, DVDs, toys, electronics, car parts, you name it. If it's on Amazon, we can find it either with a USB, ISBN, you can even look by ASIN, or simply do a title search. So that's the first change. Secondly, let's show you with some real life examples. Let's go ahead and scan a book and bring it up. And uh, shameless plug, if you're looking for a good book to read, I'd highly recommend Daniel Pink's brand new book called When. It's a great uh, sort of efficiency book and maybe help you rethink the way you plan your day to sort of maximize your energy output. So let's go ahead and scan that book. So in the past, we were able to look up books by barcodes. You can, you can attach a Bluetooth scanner, you can use your camera as we just did, or you could enter the ISBN or the title. Now we're adding a new way to do that, and we'll get to that in just a second. First off, the, uh, what we used to do with links was bring them up in your uh, phone's built-in web browser. So Safari or Chrome or Firefox or whatever your web browser of choice was. I'm on Apple here, so I've got Safari. And the problem with that was it created a tab nightmare. It would just bring up multiple, multiple, multiple tabs. And it worked, it was efficient, but we said, all right, let's try and clean that up. Mostly just my OCD nature. And so hopefully many of you will uh, relate to that. Um, so now when you tap on the links, rather than bring them up in your actual phone's web browser, it'll bring it up within Scout IQ. So it'll actually look it up. That allows us to control the experience. It's a little faster and we keep those tabs a little bit under better control. So here you can see we click the Prime link, we bring up all the Prime offers on this particular item, and we can also put some data up in the corner, like eScore and Rank. You'll notice eScore isn't there, that's because it is a brand new book. You can see the Rank is phenomenal, it's under 1,000, and we're now, thanks to crowdsourcing, tracking this book, and we'll start adding eScore into it as it begins to sell. We've got a nice big close button on the top. You can tap the arrow on the top left, or whether you're right or left-handed, you can tap anywhere on the close button on the bottom. And we, we sort of have that experience everywhere. You can tap the Book Scouter link, see if anybody will buy this book back right now, which they will. And again, you can close out. So we tried to make that as seamless of an experience as possible, make it faster, and control those tabs. Now the second feature we've added here is you'll notice on a lot of books, a lot of books do have barcodes like that one did. Some of them have FNSKU labels, which means someone else had listed this prime in the past, and that means it's worth looking up. However, it's a little bit tougher. So you can either peel this sticker back, which takes a fair amount of time. You can look on the back of the title page to find an ISBN, or you can do a title search, and we'll show you how to do that in just a second. Secondly, another example of this would be a barcode, uh, or not a barcode, but just an ISBN on the back. So you can type that in easily, but unfortunately you can't hit it with a scanner or your camera. So in the past, you could bring up our nice custom keyboard here and type it in, but that sort of requires you to memorize several digits at a time, see if I can do it while I'm talking. And it's, it's efficient, it works, but you can now bring up speech to text and actually just talk into your phone like a crazy person. And I will admit, I didn't think speech to text was that big of a deal until I've had my hands on it and I have changed my mind. So let's show you how it works and walk you through a couple of the features that we've thought through and added to that. 08092 Default, it's gonna pick up Siri, and you'll notice the screen didn't change. That's because we already had that book. Let's, let's show you that it worked. So by default, it's gonna pick up Siri or Google, and it's gonna strip out hyphens and spaces and all that jazz for you. It tries to be a little bit smarter and help you find the right book. Let's, let's show you one more time. 08092 stop talking it'll go ahead and look up that particular book now a couple things we added to it if for whatever reason there's a lot of background noise or the, the microphone can't pick you up very well or maybe you just uh, have trouble speaking or it can't pick you up for whatever reason um, you can actually the auto search feature and then you have the ability to click edit that was in there and you can go ahead and then edit that text just like normal. So if for whatever reason it's not picking you up appropriately, but you can get 90% of the way there, it'll work. And if you like what it picks up, you search and it'll actually just search right from there and you can see all the results that are brought up as well. So the second thing you can do is do a title search this way and this is where it really comes in handy. 
So with ISBNs, I still prefer to not talk into the phone. I, I prefer not to attract any more attention to myself than I already am. Um, but with title searches, this is pretty nice. Dave Pell's Putting Bible. So I went ahead and clicked search. Now we do have an option in the settings. If you're only looking at books, you can turn ISBN searches only. You can set that to on. It'll actually pick up the first listing here, which has the best rank and it's where the ASIN matches what we just typed in. So, or, or um, it, it would actually find that for you if you were looking up ASINs only. With title searches, you're, it's gonna bring up multiple options just like this. You can pick the first one, which is usually the correct one and have the data from there. So first off, we're looking up everything now. We're not just books. We still are a books database, but we'll be rolling out other categories as we're able to. Second, in-app web browser, we control the experience, limit the number of tabs. Third, we've got speech to text with some other customizable features just in case there's background noise. And last but not least, we redid our web portal. So for those of you who are brand new, we've got a couple kind of getting started videos, kind of get you familiar with the app, show you how to set up your MWS credentials. And two, and most importantly, our web portal did not used to be mobile friendly, which is a tad ironic since we are a mobile company. It is now beautifully mobile friendly, um, thanks to our team. So you can uh, kind of change things in here. You can handle your subscription. If you need to upgrade and get the database in time for a library sale, you can do that. You can downgrade, upgrade to six months annual or cancel us if you need to. You can do that all from here, all from your phone rather than logging into a computer. So those are the updates. Thanks for watching. And if you have other feedback, by all means, reach out. You can reach our team anytime at support at scoutiq.co. We'd love to hear from you. And we've got plenty of other features rolling out in the very near future. Thanks for watching.